How do you regulate your vagus nerve? I've talked about it in relation to how it hijacks your metabolism, but in this case, I wanted to highlight really what you can do to help regulate it. You want your vagus nerve to work in terms of when you need to be in fight or flight, but you also want it to work and when you need it to be chill. So in this case, I don't want to necessarily say to chill it out, but we really do need to work on regulating it because unfortunately our modern lifestyle keeps it in fight or flight mode more than rest, digest, and chill mode. So what can you do to regulate your vagus nerve? Now, this by any means is not a comprehensive list. There are like 4,000 things you can do, really. I'm not kidding, there's a lot, but these are my go-tos. So breathing, five count inhale, seven count exhales. Do it at least twice a day, maybe during your breaks during the day. Many of us don't take breaks when we get into our day. We need to do that. Get out in nature, go out and breathe. Notice I mentioned that, get out in the mountains, get out into the water, get wherever you can go where there are birds chirping, you can hear them and you don't hear all the sirens and cars everywhere somewhere where you can get out and see nature, experience nature. It helps, it's soothing to us. We are part of nature, we are part of this whole ecosystem and sometimes we forget that. So keeping that in mind. Next one, wind down routine. Hard stop on work, ease into your evening. The better you sleep, the better your vagus nerve is going to be in terms of regulating things because that's its job. It's the regulator. It tells us when to be scared and afraid of things and it tells us when to chill and breathe and just relax. So we need to help regulate it, give it the right signals. Thoughts, that is a big, big factor. What you think sets off your vagus nerve. If you are grumpy, you have negative thoughts, you're gonna go down this terrible spiral of just being negative and you're, brain is going to keep telling your vagus nerve and vice versa that things aren't right, something's wrong. And in particular, a lot of folks will start having heart palpitations and things of that nature. That's a huge indicator that something's off with the vagus nerve, especially when you went to the cardiologist and they're like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with you. You must have anxiety. Yeah, because your vagus nerve is out of sync. It needs some help. Heart math, great way to be working on that too. If you haven't heard about heart math, check it out experience meals instead of wolfing them down on the go standing and eating at the kitchen sink work on experiencing your food sit down chew relax because the more that you're eating on the go the more you're sending signals back to the vagus nerve that you are running away from something plus all the issues with the digestive system your brain literally is in your gut and so everything coming back up if the things in the gut are not in everything coming back up, no pun intended, but what's going on in the gut is going to send back to the brain that there is something wrong. So the more gut issues you have, the more that you're going to have vagus nerve dysregulation. So get your food on point, eat closest to nature, let your body chill, eat foods that are easy for it to digest. How does that happen? You're eating things that are closest to nature. Huge, huge, huge factor. Challenge your vagus nerve. Exercise challenges it. But what we forget to do and what really is missing in the fitness industry is telling your vagus nerve that the exercise is over. So challenge, then stop and tell it you're done. Positional parasympathetic breathing, you're laying down on the floor, you're breathing for five minutes and telling your body that the workout is over. This is huge. When I started doing this, it was a game changer for me. You wanna be thinking about how to challenge your vagus nerve, but also how to bring it back into balance. What's another way to challenge it? Hot and cold temperatures, plunges, getting into cold water, getting into something warmer, going back and forth. You can do this in the shower. It boils down to circulation. It's a stimulatory response. You challenge your vagus nerve by working on different types of stimulation that work on circulation since the vagus nerve controls where your blood's at at any given point in your body every single day. So these are my top go-tos on how to regulate the vagus nerve so that you can get your metabolism on point, you can manage stress more effectively, and you can build your resistance. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.